If you are trying daily to stay healthy amid the pandemic, we're going to look at some natural organic options that could help boost your immunity system. With more on this today, local neurologist Dr. Chad Domain just out of surgery, joining us with those answers. Thank you so much for joining us. Good afternoon. Good to see you. Welcome. Okay, before we get to that, I know you always stress, check with your doctor before you do anything. Um, natural supplements, the type of products that should be part of your weekly regimen, are there some that you say that I definitely would include this if you're trying to keep that immune system and to keep yourself healthy? Uh, yes, Liz, exactly. Two weeks ago, we talked about zinc. Uh, today, I want to bring three more up, uh, vitamin C, vitamin D, and elderberry are the three we're going to talk about today. Let's start with vitamin D. How do you take it and why can this help your overall health? So vitamin D works by basically enhancing your white cells, the cells that actually attack an infection and also decrease inflammation. Um, I actually pulled two studies, uh, one from 2017 that looked at 25 clinical trials and one from 20 up to 11,000 patients. And both studies found the same thing, even if you're deficient or normal levels, supplementation decreased the risk of infection. Um, they recommend intaking vitamin D from 1,000 to 5,000 international units a day. Uh, obviously, sunlight to the skin, uh, conversion of cholesterol gives us high vitamin D. Uh, we can see it in dairy products. You can see it in fatty fish. You can also see it in the beef liver. Uh, but the great thing about vitamin D is there's no toxic dose. But I always tell my patients, regardless of how you're supplementing it, you want to make sure that you're actively checking your levels because a lot of these supplements just go through your body and are not being absorbed. What about what you mentioned, black elderberry? What is it, and how do you consume something like this for your health? Yeah, it's always exciting when you do research and you learn something new, a new supplement you didn't know about. It is grown on a tree. It's called a European or a black uh, elder tree. Uh, exactly how it works, they don't know, but obviously they think it works by enhancing the immune system. Uh, two studies that I pulled, one was a four randomized control studies, 180 patients where it showed reduced, reduced respiratory infection symptoms. Um, the other one was really interesting. In 2004, showed taking this liquid four times a day uh, for a, a period of three to five days reduced the symptoms of the flu by four days. Well, I, I was really shocked by that. Um, it, again, with these supplements, the, the studies are limited. Uh, this is not in food. It has to be taken. It's a liquid. It's a teaspoon, 15 mils, uh, four times a day. Uh, Long-term effects are not known, but the short-term effects are basically zero. What about vitamin C? A lot of us take that daily. Uh, what are the, the, the numbers and the studies tell us about that on your immune system? So I think we're all aware how vitamin C enhances all of our immune system. Uh, the thing that shocked me when I did this research, I always assumed if you took too much vitamin C, you're just kind of you know peeing it out, going through your body. Uh, but actually looking at this data, there was one study looking again at 11,000 plus patients that even that overdose of vitamin Z, vitamin C, uh, added a, a decreased risk of respiratory infection. Uh, there's even a study where they looked at giving uh, vitamin C intravenously in people with severe respiratory viral infections, and it showed that their symptoms went down. The great thing about vitamin C is there's no toxic dose. Obviously, citrus fruits, strawberries, broccoli, uh, uh, tomatoes are, the, are where we see the highest dose of vitamin C. Uh, they recommend anywhere from 250 to 1,000 milligrams a day. But again, there's no toxic dose. And what I took home, what, what changed my practice, is that you can go above and beyond what you need, and it does give you some benefit. Well, some really good tips there. Uh, how can people learn more? I know you're constantly trying to help folks during this pandemic with uh, organic tips like that. Where can they learn more from you? Yeah, on my social media, Dr. Chad, on uh, Facebook, Instagram. You know, the thing I took from this, Liz, is we all want to know this in regards to COVID-19. But the thing is shocking to me is there's not one single past or current study looking at these three supplements are zinc versus the COVID-19 virus. And that's ultimately what we want to know. And I just want to really stress that it's important to our leadership to start looking at this because we obviously have nothing to fight this virus right now. Thank you so much. Appreciate it always. Dr. Chad, have a good day. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks.